welcome back to another video today I'm gonna go over um, if, how to evaluate uh, dividend stocks but first uh, here's a quick update today we are in the red and then I also gain I think about a dollar and thirty uh, in dividends earned okay um, moving on so evaluating and choosing dividend stocks so there's two ways to do that and one of them is called quantitative and then the second one is called uh, qualitative and I'm gonna go over both of those in this video so quantitative is using numbers and uh, financial results financial ratio and uh, charts and trends using balance sheets income statements all that information you can get from like uh, Yahoo for example you can go to Yahoo, Yahoo Finance and then you can put any stock Tesla for example and then you can just go to statistics and then scroll down to dividends and splits and you can get all the information you need uh, to make a qualitative um, analysis on a dividend stocks uh, but Tesla is not a dividend stocks but for, uh, just uh, any dividend stocks that you want to um, evaluate so with the quantitative it's a hundred percent based on uh, data and information that's out on the company um, and nowadays you don't really have to wait for annual report um, because there are websites uh, if it's a public trading company they ha they have to post all their information uh, and their income statements and things like that uh, on the internet and then uh, there's also two things within qualitative which is uh, fundamentals which is long-term investing and business performance based and then there's technical analysis which is uh, market trends uh, just looking at charts and graphs and uh, making decisions on uh, how uh, based on uh, the trends that's going on with the stock prices and kind of um, so if you're a day trader for example you're basically doing a lot of technical analysis and uh, you can also do technical analysis uh, if you're trying to pick a company for long term. And then uh, going to qualitative. Qualitative is uh, mostly based on experience. Um, for example, uh, if you worked for a company, you kind of know how to how they operate. Um, I used to work for. Uh, uh, Comcast and I know uh, how Comcast works for example um, in most homes uh, Comcast have their lines so people that move into the house they pretty much have no option but to get two services in most cases and one of them being Comcast uh, but in most house in most houses it's a uh, uh, Comcast line so you have to get a service with Comcast which I think that's also like a uh, Comcast is kind of like a monopoly company where they set their set up they pretty much have no competition so you kind of know things like that based on experience so that would be like qualitative um, and Warren Buffett also talks a lot about this on uh, he says uh, pick companies that you know uh, and you know the business model and you know how they make money and uh, and also it can also be uh, trends that's uh, going on for example um, the people are living longer uh, nowadays so there is a trend in terms of uh, there will be demand for a lot of uh, I guess nursing homes and even hearing aid or a lot of things that will uh, go towards uh, taking care of older people and um, 
and that is uh, pretty much it for uh, this video and my goal in this video was to evaluate and choosing dividend stocks or uh, show you guys how you can choose dividend stocks using qualitative and then uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, analysis to pick your stocks and uh, thank you for watching bye